Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about a very important reactive intermediate called carbanions. And just as carbocations, these are also intermediates which are generated during heterolytic cleavage. In this video, we will study in detail about carbanions, its characteristics and what are the various electronic displacement effects that help stabilize this reactive species. So, you can see that a carbon with a negative charge when, which results from a heterolytic cleavage is called carbanion. To understand this, let us look at an example here. Here we have a compound CH3Z and uh, Z has lower electronegativity as compared to carbon. Now, when this particular bond, when CZ bond undergoes heterolysis or heterolytic cleavage, the shared pair of electron is actually retained by carbon because it has greater electronegativity as compared to Z and the resultant species are nothing but this CH3 minus where carbon has a negative charge and Z plus. So, this particular species where carbon has a negative charge and resulting from a heterolytic cleavage are called carbanions. Now, you can see that it has sp3 hybridization and sp3 hybrid compounds have tetrahedral structure and because it has lone pair of electrons and not a bond pair, it has pyramidal geometry. As you can see that these two are nothing but inverted images of each other and here inversion of this particular structure gives this particular structure. So, the importance of inversion and why inversion takes place or what are the conditions in which inversion takes place will be studied in detail during organic reactions and its mechanisms. Going ahead, we can see that carbon has a negative charge that is it is electron rich unlike carbocation where carbon had a positive charge and it was electron deficient. Now here carbon has a negative charge and it is electron rich and therefore this acts as a Lewis base. Another interesting thing is that carbon here has 8 electrons in its valence shell, then why is it not stable? We saw that carbocation was unstable because it is reactive, it had a positive charge and it had only 6 valence electrons. So, obviously it wanted to complete its octet configuration and hence it was reactive. However, here we have 8 electrons in its valence shell and still this particular charge species is uh, not stable. It is essentially because carbon has a very small atomic size. We know that across the period atomic size of comp uh, elements uh, actually decreases and since carbon has a very small size, it is very difficult to accommodate this extra negative charge on that and therefore it becomes highly unstable. So, just as we had studied in carbocations and what are the different effects that help stabilize the carbocation, now we will discuss what are the various electronic displacement effects that help stabilize the carbanion. The first one being inductive effect. So, here you can see that in inductive effect, we know that carb carbanions are highly electron rich such that if you have an electron donating group attached to a carbanion, electron density on the carbon is very, very high. So, that is not a very desirable situation because just as we discussed, carbon has a very small size and more electron density will not be favored. It makes it unstable. And therefore, for carbanions, electron withdrawing groups are favored because it withdraws the extra electron density from the carbon atom and making the compound stable. For the same reason, you can see that the order of stability will be exactly opposite to the order of stability that we observed in carbocations. In that, here primary, car primary carbanion is much more stable than secondary, which is more stable than tertiary. The same thing is exemplified here, you can see that this is a primary carbanion, carbon with a negative charge attached to one carbon, it is, it, this has higher stability as compared to secondary carbanion which has more stability as compared to tertiary because you can see that in tertiary carbanion we have three methyl groups, all three alkyl groups which are electron donating and all of them contribute or donate electron towards the carbanion making the electron density on the small carbon highly very high. So, this is not favored and hence we get the order of stability in this particular order. Same thing as goes also electron negative atoms again decrease the electron density on carbon atom inductively and thus stabilize the system. An example you can see here if you have x CH2 CH2 minus where x is attached here, this one would be much more stable as compared to this species where there is no electronegative atom attached. Same thing because of the minus i effect of halogens here, 
it essentially uh, withdraws electron and makes the system much more stable. Let us discuss the second electronic effect which helps in stabilizing a carbanion which is nothing but resonance. In resonance we can see that a negative charge adjacent to pi bond stabilizes the carbanion and how is does it stabilize? It stabilizes by dispersing the negative charge through multiple atoms. Just as we had seen in carbocation where uh, dispersal of positive charge helps in stabilizing the carbocation. Similarly, adjacent pi bond to a negative charge helps in its stabili stabilization by dispersing it. For the same reason, you can see these two compounds as an example. Here the negative charge gets di dispersed this way due to the presence of adjacent pi bond. However, here we have no such effect taking place and therefore this will be much more stable as compared to this one. Let us now look at another uh, factor which can contribute towards stability or stabilizing carbanion is hybridization. You can see that hybridization uh, or uh, with more S character essentially stabilizes carbanion. We had studied earlier that more the S character greater is the electronegativity and therefore based on that sp has higher electronegativity as compared to sp2 and sp3 because here we have 50 percent s character here we have 33 percent s character and here we have 25 percent s character for the same reason to understand this we can see this example here we have ch3 ch2 minus which is sp3 hybridized and here we have ch2 double bond ch minus which is sp2 hybridized and here we have an alkyne system hc triple bond c minus which is sp hybridized you can see that sp hybridization offers maximum stability of carbanions because it has maximum electron withdrawing ability as compared to sp2 which is greater than sp3 i hope you have thoroughly understood what is carbanion what are its various characteristics and what are the various uh, electronic effects that help in the stabilization of carbanions thank you